Hello guys, <clears throat> sorry for my voice. Um, this time I'm going to talk a little um, about the, the methods I use to, to, to make my solos and um, the scales I normally choose. So I'm, be, I'm going to be playing in A, A, which is in the fifth fret, and I'm going to use uh, the minor scale, which is like this. <laughs> You can also do like this. Now it's important for you to realize that you have to know uh, how to to go to the to the octave of this scale and know every note in uh, in the individual strings like. And now the rest on the other strings. The other and the rest. So if you know, if you put you put all these parts together, you can go and do something like this. simple now you can work on your speed and um, and bring all the the, uh, the other strings to the to your to your solos to complete to so you so you don't stay in the, in the first three strings try to go to to the six strings and use them for the solos not just for the rhythm um, I'm using the angle and I'm plugging it's direct to the angle of the guitar and I'm going to play some random stuff uh, some things like I might remember first uh, with uh, this little crunch uh, and then uh, with more crunch and uh, trying to play it faster. So here you go, some examples. I'm trying to end up all in the root note, which is A. because I think it's really cool instead of always um, keep uh, picking the strings I like to use legato because uh, as I don't know if I said before but Joseph Trani was a huge influence for me when I started to play guitar and uh, the things I heard from him were, were always some legato stuff so I really like it then with other guitar players like John Petrucci and, and other, other guitar players I started to realize that you can also take advantage from, from your picking, which for me is harder. Okay, so I'm just gonna play some random stuff in A with more distortion now, and I hope you like it. start to feel your hand a little bit uh, hard to 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 handle it you know 
you better stop or uh, play something slower in the middle of those uh, in the middle of those all those notes you start you stop and play uh, softer things so you can get more strength from your hand again and um, I don't know how to say in English uh, recover your recover your strength something like if you were shredding <laughs> Action. and uh, if you feel tired again you go back slow again like uh, in the pentatonic shape you try to have some uh, interesting stuff so you don't just play random notes all over all over the neck like if you were shredding and making a big solo with fast notes with a fast uh, phrase you would stop to make some sense in the middle of the phrase like <laughs> Come out, calm down, things, and uh, give, recover your strength, and and uh, the public uh, to your your public will be much more relief that you don't are always doing the fast stuff you can do. Another thing I realized, you can pick an harmonic and uh, slide your finger down. I'll demonstrate. It. And then if you fret the string, you can bend it, like if you had a tremolo. easy but uh, you gotta try it. Also, that um, with a lot of distortion, it's easy for the mistakes to come, to, so you don't listen to your mistakes. So you should try to play. Um, a lot of times with uh, with the clean sound or uh, less distortion, so you can hear your mistakes. <laughs> Legato style, you have to, uh, it's better to have more distortion so the, ring, the notes when you're hammering ring out louder and better. Okay, guys, hope you like it and uh, see you around.